up, guys? It is week three of Wise. I'm your host, Morgan. And I'm... I'm... What's going on? Jarrett. But what are you wearing? What is going on there? Oh, wow, you're talking about my fancy back-to-school outfit? Pretty yeah. snazzy, huh? I put it together myself. Well, I think you should put something else together because that looks terrible. What? You don't like it? I don't know. I put together my favorite things. I got my pink coat and I'm really into sports so I put my two sports things on and these flag footballs. I even put on my nice fluffy slippers. You really don't like it? No. I think you should go change because it's really bad. Okay. Ouch. Anyways, do you want a piece of gum? Uh, no. All right, well, like I was saying, we're on week three. Give me a shaker here. Okay, are you serious right now? Are What's you, that? you are smacking your gum so loud. So loud. How can someone smack their gum so loud? That's ridiculous. I cannot believe how loud you're smacking. I, I, I guess you're right, I was kind of loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'd say so. Well, like I was saying, it's week three of WISE, and today we're gonna to be learning about how we can trust God. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I guess, but that's not our lesson for this week. That's, that was the one for last week. How could you forget that? Are you sure it's... Yeah, really no, bad. that's last week. I'm, I'm very sure. How could you mix that up? Okay, wow. Well, honestly, you've kind of hurt my feelings. Your words haven't been very kind. I don't know, hopefully we'll learn something about that today. But before we do, let's worship.
okay? Why aren't you talking? This is basically a talk show. You have to talk. Oh no. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co host, Cassie. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. So apparently, Carl isn't talking today, so we have to figure out something to do. How about Mad Lib? Mad Libs are like stories we get to make up as we go. So I'll read the words we need, and you can fill in the blanks with whatever words you want. Right, you can't talk. So maybe we can act out the words? All right. Okay, so I need a name of a person. Is that T? Okay, I'm, I'm guessing the queen. The Queen of England? All right. Okay, um, give me an adjective, a word to describe something. Um, smelly, stinky, farty. All right, that's pretty weird. Um, I think we need another adjective and a noun. A person, place, or thing. Flappy pumpkin? All right. All right, so now we need another adjective and a noun. Um, grumpy, grumpy tree? Okay, last one. Give me a verb, an action. Skip? All right, let's hear the story you made. Once upon a time, the queen and I went to the park. On our way to the farty park, we saw a flappy pumpkin on a bike. We also saw a big grumpy balloon tied to the tree, so we skipped home. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkins can't ride bikes. Well, look at you, you can talk. <laughs> I know, I just couldn't hold in any longer. Well, why weren't you talking in the first place? Well, Cassie, I messed up this morning. You did? How? Well, my mamaw told me to clean up my room this morning, and well, I didn't want to. Yeah, I don't feel like cleaning my room sometimes either. So what happened? Well, I said a bad word. Really? What did you say? Well, when she told me to clean my room, I, I said, I know, I know. Did you get in trouble? A little. Wow, you didn't choose the right word, did you? I sure didn't. And that's why I wasn't talking. I figured if I don't talk, I won't make the same mistake and say the wrong word again. Yeah, I get that. But I think there's better ways to go about it. Really? How? Well, think back to the time when King Solomon had the right words for those two women that were fighting. Oh yeah, those two women that lived in the same house and both had brand new babies. Yep. But unfortunately, one of the babies didn't live. But instead of telling the other woman, the lady switched the babies and took her friend's kid who was still alive. Man, that's really sad. But also kind of messed up. Yeah, so when the mother woke up, she was so sad because she saw her baby wasn't living anymore. But she looked closely and realized it wasn't her baby. It was her friend's. But the other mother wouldn't admit what she had done. So they went to the King Solomon. Yeah. Then King Solomon said to split the baby in two and give each half to one of the women, which is pretty weird and kind of terrible. It is weird, but Solomon really didn't want to hurt the baby. It was a test. You see, the real mother of the living child begged King Solomon not to harm the baby. And she said it would be okay if the child went with the other woman, if it meant her child could live. So that's how he knew he was telling the truth. Holy moly. Solomon is super wise. He sure was. And the only reason he was so wise is because he asked God for wisdom, and that gave him the right words to say. So you're telling me 
that we can ask God for the right words? Yes. I'm also telling you, that's our big idea. No way! Today's big idea is we can ask God for the right words. So say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. We can ask God for the right words! All right! We did it! Sounds good! <laughs> Thanks for helping me understand, Cassie. That was a great story. Don't you think so? Cassie? Here she not, she's not talking. She's not. Oh, because the words thing. I, I was doing that early. Okay, uh, she's not going to say anything, so... Uh, see ya. I'll... Bye! That was a really great story. It's really awesome how when Solomon was faced with that really tough situation with the baby and with the moms, that all he had to do was ask God for the right words, and the Lord helped him decide how to handle that situation. And that's really all we have to do when we're stuck in situations where we don't know what to say, or maybe we're tempted to be mean or not choose the right thing. All we have to do is ask God for the right words, and he'll give them to us. What do you think of the lesson, Jarrett? Well, I actually feel like I learned a lot from that lesson. Yeah? And I feel like I didn't use the right words earlier when we were talking. Mm -hmm. And even though I probably wouldn't wear that outfit and I didn't like how loud you were smacking your gum and you did get the lesson of this week wrong, I think I could have still been honest with you, but I still think that I should have chosen better words. Hmm. You know what? Now that you say that, it makes me think of something. So, what is it? I have this cool remote here, and the coolest thing about this remote is it lets you go back in time and redo things, which is really cool. So, what if we reverse to the beginning and we redid that whole conversation? That sounds good. You wanna try it? Yeah. All right, let's do it. What's up, guys? It is week three of Wise. I'm your host, Morgan. And I'm Jared. I think I need to pray real quick. God, will you just give me the right words um, to just be honest and also to be nice and to choose kind words to say in this moment. Amen. So, How's it going? Good. So you're, you're wearing some colorful stuff. Yeah, you like it? It's my uh, back to school outfit. I put it together myself. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a little bold, but uh, that's okay. Yeah, it is kind of different, but I do like it. Good. Anyways, you want a piece of gum? I'm all right, thanks. Okay. Okay, so, like I was saying, it was me. Good, my shotgun. Do you, do you mind, uh, you're smacking your gum pretty loud. Do you mind oh, being a little quieter? Totally. I'm so sorry. That was really obnoxious. Thank you. I'm sorry. really sorry. Thanks for telling me. Okay, anyways, like I said, it's week three of Y's. And this week we're learning about how we can trust God, which is a really great big idea. Is that is that what we're what we're learning this week? I, I think so. Am I wrong? I think you might be. I think that's okay. But I think this week we're learning about how to choose our words well and ask God to help us to choose words. Gotcha. Hey, thanks for correcting me. I was way off. <laughs> that's okay. Thanks. Yeah. Wow, that went way different. Mm -hmm. The way you talked to me was so much kinder. It made me feel a lot better. That's good, yeah. I definitely felt way better about it. And I was really happy that I got to, to pause and, and just pray and ask God for the right words to say. Yeah, he really does give us the right words to say. Mm -hmm. Hey, that actually reminds me of our memory verse. Do you want to oh, check yeah. it out? Yeah, let's read it. So the memory verse is in James 1.5. Let me read it for us. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. That's awesome. Well, before we wrap up, let's pray. God, thank you so much that when we don't know the right words to say or the kind thing to say, all we have to do is ask you and you'll give it to us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you next week. <laughs>